Oh, these guys have a competitive spirit. What do you want? Hold on, hold on. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you, brother man. Hold on, hold on now. Boy, what the hell? Oh, my God. No way. Jordan never wore those shoes. He never did that move. <laughs> oh, no. They started without me. They're gonna get all the kills, I mean points. Hello Wastelander, is Lost Wolf here, back with another video. New character, uh, so let's go ahead and introduce her. Her name is uh, Sandlot Sally, and she is essentially just a swatter from the uh, Commonwealth area. You can see on her bat it actually says swatter as well. This is a uh, uh, custom mod, you know, brings in the uh, baseball uniform. Uh, the cap is actually a uh, pretty much the pre-war baseball cap, but it, it, I think it's like cleaned up. Uh, and the bat uh, took a little bit to get set up, <clears throat> just because like uh, the first time I made the character, the uh, hair was kind of clipping through the uh, hat. I guess because you know it's not like vanilla hair that I was using at the time, so I had to remake the character. And uh, the items are actually craftable, so you have to craft the uniform you take it to the workbench you only require five repair so like right off the start of the game anybody can make this uh requires a baseball bat to make the swatter you need a pre-war baseball cap to make the hat and then you need the uh, memphis kid outfit to make the uniform and nothing else just just the uh single item take it to the repair bench and it becomes one of these uh super cool honestly it's got the little courier six on the back and uh you know me personally i really like the baseball bats or the baseball bat weapon uh kind of disappointing that in new vegas it doesn't have any mods you know i think it's really it's something like really cool that uh they added in follow for and you know while there aren't any mods that add mods to the bats there are a bunch of uh different kind of bats in the uh, nexus as well as uh you know this this mod right here which is all one mod pretty nice pretty snazzy i even made her hair red just to kind of go with the uh <clears throat> you know the color aesthetic and everything uh, but yeah, her backstory, you know, essentially she comes from the Commonwealth and she's here to introduce the sport of uh, swatting to the Mojave. So before we get into it, you know, just go ahead and uh, go through her dice real quick. Her D4, she rolled a 2, so she is attracted to females. Her food dice, she rolled a 4, so she is omnivorous. Her alignment dice, she rolled a 6. Uh, can't remember off the top of my head, give me a sec. All right, so on the alignment chart, six is a lawful evil, which kind of goes with her. She is a swatter, you know, but, you know, swatters, uh, the spore is pretty dangerous from what uh, we learn in Fallout 4 from uh, the baseball guy at Diamond City. Uh, so this kind of goes with her, you know, she, she, she is very violent uh, due to this sport of swatting. Uh, but she's all within the rules of swatting, which, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> there are no rules in swatting. It's just the uh, teams of nine go out onto the field and pretty much try to kill each other using old baseball equipment. Uh, at the start of the game, um, you actually find a baseball and baseball glove that Doc Mitchell has. So I went ahead and just picked that up. They're not going to be useful at all, but I mean, it's baseball memorabilia. So went ahead and picked that up just for the sake of our character if we do find baseballs we'll go ahead and like collect those and we'll collect all the baseball stuff that we can and just like sell it off you know for this for the sake of the sport for the sake of the sport you know we're, we're, it's not because it, it earns us money you know it's not because we want people to, to, to just beat each other up and kill each other no 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 no. it's for the sport you know the honor of, of swatting <laughs> uh, and then her altruism die she actually rolled a six so you know pretty average pretty average altruism um Go ahead and get into her stats real quick. Start with her special. Uh, the hat, the cap right now is actually giving me plus one perception. Otherwise, I'd just be at four perception. Uh, I didn't want to make it one just because, uh, you know, she is a baseball player. So baseball players are usually pretty perceptive and it, it's somewhat helpful uh, in terms of like spotting enemies from a distance. Uh, strength, I decided to actually push it up to nine just because, uh, you know, getting one plus one isn't that hard in the game. Uh, and, you know, nine strength is obviously gonna help us out since we're 100% melee focused. We're only gonna be using bats. Um, we're not gonna be using the regular baseball bat, obviously, because we can just modify it into the swatter, which we have already. 
five perception already told, talked about that, nine endurance, you know, because we're melee focused, we want to be able to take a lot of damage. Uh, two charisma, just because, you know, a, a swatter doesn't really need to be that charismatic. Um, we're not like an all-star or anything like that. Uh, so charisma isn't too important. Uh, two charisma just for the you know old Fallout rules of companions. So we are allowed to have at least one companion. Uh, I haven't really thought too much about it, or who I would want to take as a companion. So I'd have to figure that out later. For intelligence, just because uh, we don't really, just to kind of take the point from intelligence and put it somewhere else. Uh, went ahead and pushed agility up to eight, and that's why you know luck and intelligence are kind of at four because I just kind of took one from each of these and just dumped it into agility uh, and that's because I'm using the J Stoyer mod normally we're not going to be using guns obviously but it uh, determines how long we can sprint uh, the number of action points so we can you know use vats with our melee uh, and then also our sneak so because we are melee focused sneak might actually be pretty pretty useful for us and uh, we're going to be kind of solo at the start at the start for a little bit so that's cool I guess it's, I don't know, I don't know why I said that, that's cool, but whatever. And then for our skills, our tag skills, I obviously went with melee weapons, so we're up to 42 right now. Uh, went ahead and tagged the medicine, just because we are melee focused, we're most likely going to be taking a lot, a lot of damage, so being able to, like, recover and everything is going to be very useful. So, obviously, having a decent amount of medicine skill makes sense for the character, uh, as we are pretty much just warriors you know but for the sake of the sport for the sake of sport guys we're not we're not like some bloodthirsty animal or anything ah, nah, nah, that's not us right we're, 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 we just love swatting all right and the last one again like i said because we are a melee character sneaking is going to be pretty viable honestly and so tagged sneak and we're up to 40 and you'll see why with the perks you see you have well i decided to go with heavy-handed uh mostly because you know i did remove plus or you know one from luck so we are at four luck we're not going to be relying on critical hits you know most most melee weapons don't really uh benefit from crits just because of their low you know swing speed and everything low dps so you're not going to be like getting a lot of crits when using melee weapons i think the only real melee weapons that are like crit viable or like the ripper i believe that's the only one that like has continuous damage you know you just put it up to somebody and like i think it hits one or two every one second type of stuff so crazy fast damage and if you have a high crit the ripper will just shred through a lot of people it can, you can pretty much just use the ripper the whole game but we not gonna do that because that's disgraceful to the sport and uh, I decided to also just go ahead and choose skilled uh, the only other vanilla perk that made sense uh, and, you know we are an athlete so being skilled at what we do definitely makes sense so the plus five points you know pretty decent uh, minus ten not even that big of a deal uh, kind of, well actually we do have four intelligence so we're not going to be getting a lot a lot of XP throughout the game but then again when a lot of these a lot of quests in like New Vegas tend to like just dump a lot a lot of um, XP on the player uh, but yeah so our main weapon is going to be the swatter you can see right there damage 33 and then if we ever need to switch over to the Teodor this is this is one of the uh, overpowered pads I was talking about but it's like the weaker one the other one is a lot stronger but you can see right there the effect it's got a bleed effect of minus 20 for two seconds so you're doing an extra 40 damage every two seconds so even though the dps is 100 it's more like 140 well I guess not 140 because it's every two seconds probably be more like one one 105 104 or something around there um, we might actually end up relying on it because uh, the thing with this mod, it actually also comes with a helmet. If you take a combat helmet, you can actually turn it into a baseball helmet. Uh, I personally am not using it because it uh, <laughs> removes the hair from the character. So you're pretty much just bald and it, it looks kind of looks kind of weird. So decided not to do that. Decided to just go ahead and keep the uh, baseball cap for the sake of the character. Baseball uniform, obviously, but because... They are just, uh, you know, like cloth. They don't provide any, any protection whatsoever. I think the combat or the helmet only provides two. So even, like, it's not really even that much anyway. So it's not something we really got to worry about. We are at zero DT. I guess it is a little bit of a problem since we are melee focused. But uh, that's just how the, the mod is. And I can't really do too much about that, I don't think. 
So whatever. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's about it. I think that sums up pretty well our our our, uh, our character, you know. And you know our backstory. Obviously, we we come originally from the Commonwealth, and we just made our way out here to the Mojave. You know, we've been going cross country, just kind of introducing people to the sport of swatting, and so. Um, we'll probably do the Good Springs quest. We'll probably like hang out with Sunny and then also do the uh, the Ghost Town Gun fight uh, because you know, there are people here. You know, we gotta we gotta teach them all about swatting. I gotta show them how it's done firsthand, right? And uh, you know, the Powder Gangers will learn what swatting is as well. You know, just from us being around. Also, just real quick, I love the shoes on on this. Uh, on the, uh, what do you call it, the baseball uniform? They, they're honestly pretty fire. Uh, they're actually, are they cleats, I think? I think they are cleats, yeah. They actually do have little spikes on the bottom. You just have to, like, kind of zoom in to see them or, like, maybe use the free cam. But, yeah, that's pretty much our character. We'll eventually, you know, figure out a uh, different companion. Maybe we'll do, like, another melee companion just so we can also give them a uh, baseball uniform and stuff. And yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna ignore these guys. We've already. We Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Get your dog, B. Get your dog. He better not bite. Uh. Oh, sorry. I guess I did skip a little bit of her backstory. You know, aside from just being a swatter and, you know, obviously going cross country to introduce people to the sport. We ended up at Mojave, and as we are travelers, you know, we, we need food and such to survive, so we end up taking odd jobs every here and there. One of our odd jobs ended up being as a courier in uh, for the Mojave Outpost, or what is it called, the Mojave Express. Uh, and, you know, obviously, from there, you see what happened. We got shot, so now we're out for revenge, right? But we do still love swatting. You know, it's in our blood, so, yeah. Seeing as we are lawfully evil, hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if like that should decide whether or not we actually attack Good Springs or not. Since we are technically like lawfully evil. But realistically, um, I think that just means we, I, I feel like that mostly just alludes to us really, really enjoying murder. And swatting is kind of just our excuse to be able to like go around and just <laughs> hit people with bats, honestly. But uh, yeah, um, I don't think I need to do the what do you call it, the tutorial quest. So we'll just talk to her about Prim, see if she can su suggest us the route. Oh, but I do need to actually do this so that we can start the Ghost Town gunfight. I'll tell you what, Sonny. Let's let's do it. Let's do a deal, right? You teach me how to survive in the desert, and I teach you how to swat. Yeah, deal, deal. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside behind the saloon. All right. While we while I got you guys here, I think I actually forgot to tell you the name of the character. So, her name is. Sally Sandlot, <laughs> just a reference to the Sandlot Kids, one of my favorite movies growing up. Obviously, baseball reference. Now, uh, yeah. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? You did not just give me a gun. You did not just do that. We don't. We do not use that. That's that's a disrespect to me as a as a athlete. All right. And try to hit a couple of them. No. Here, Sonny, you take this. All right. Take the take the bat, Sonny. Take it. No? Okay, okay, let me show you how it's done first. <laughs> I feel like I'm a giant, but it's really just her model is actually smaller <laughs> than average, but she's actually making me feel like a giant right now. The fact that I got my weapon out and I'm like literally at eye level with her. <laughs> but you can actually do this part of the uh, stuff without um, a gun. You can just do this melee. If I could hit stuff. There we go. Oh, she's not reference. Wait, is she broken? I thought that's supposed to work. I swear this works. You should be able to just like go up to the freaking bottles and just smack them, right? And she just like counts it. 
Oh my god, I got, all right, fine, Sonny, I'll... I'll humor you, okay? But you're gonna have to pick up a baseball bat later, all right? Promise? Also, I dropped the bullets, Sonny, so I don't think I can actually fire this. Oh, there they are. Uh, can I shoot one of the ones on the ground? Hold on. That's the right idea. Oh, wow, it counts. That counts, apparently. Try crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Bro, the way she's looking up at me right now, she's literally making me feel like I'm just a giant. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Geckos? Clear out? That sounds like fun, actually. You know what, now that I think about it? Yes. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Honestly, any excuse we have for violence is kind of a good excuse for our character. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Um, I mean, I do have good sneak, but we're also melee, so it's like, unless I can just sneak up behind them, okay. which you actually can't against we'll these, uh, these geckos. Where are they? Oh, I'm trying to zoom in, but I'm, guard I'm like blocking right now. Yeah, see, they already noticed me. I guess animals have like pretty high perception. Cause I barely move and I have decent, um, well, that's that. I have decent sneak for like the stars. So we'll definitely take this stuff though. Very useful. We are also omnivorous, so we can definitely go ahead and just eat that without See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. More? I get to show off my skills more, Sonny? Yeah, I'll, I'll, sure, I'll come with you. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. I'll lead the way. Uh, this is just the warm-up I needed after my, uh... You know, I just woke up, been knocked, been unconscious for a couple days, so I need to get back into the swing of things. This definitely helps us warm up our muscles. Ooh, oh my gosh, dude, Cheyenne was about to mess them up. Too bad she missed. Oh, I forgot about the Good Springs guy. Where is she? She's, oh my gosh, she's getting ganged up on so bad. Bro, this bed is actually really nice. That takes care of that. Right now, it's just able to like one shot these geckos. I'm gonna loot all that. Gecko hide sells for a good amount. And the uh, the meat will give us sustenance. Give me. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll talk to Sunny real quick. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure, why not? Guess it couldn't hurt. Um, we tend to get hurt a lot, so. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Aye, aye, Sonny. Looting is not really something that we enjoy doing. You know, it's not like we're not prospector. We mostly just like killing things. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go.
but we'll do the quest for the sake of, uh, you know, learning how to make healing powder. Plus we do technically get to kill some stuff coming out this way. These little praying mantis dudes. Ooh. They make a they make a good sound on our bat. Sally likes. Let's see if there's any more stuff in here to uh kill I mean test our skills on. Hello? Oh a schoolhouse. Maybe they have some baseball equipment. Hey. Ow. I think Prairie Mantis actually have like pretty high damage, don't they? Well, I mean, these are small ones and they're probably like level one only. Ow. Hey, hey, who the heck are you? Nah, I'm just kidding. I know who she is. She's from like a different mod. Are you gonna, oh, she's actually pretty good, but we're better. Oh, I want to kill that Prairie Mantis. Oh, there we go. And you're out of here. Swing. Better, 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 swing. Uh, we got the Xander root and everything. We got, we got what we wanted here. Uh, I don't think I know how to lock pick. We're not really a techie either. So, whatever. Any, uh, any baseball gloves, any baseballs, any bats. Stuff I could sell, you know, stuff that I like. I don't think so. Oh, that's, that's the Jill Valentine mod. It's pretty nice little armor, which uh, I actually want to do a character playthrough of Jill Valentine in New Vegas. That'd be pretty trippy, right? Because that's just an, uh, an idea I, I had for roleplay characters, is to take, like, characters from other games or people from real life, you know, icons and stuff, and then maybe bring them into the world and roleplay as them. But I am a gamer at heart, so, you know, I, I would more, more likely uh, do, like, video game characters and try to bring them into the game rather than, like, real-world people. Any real-world people that I would bring into the game are probably, like, just people that I see in, like, memes and stuff. All right, next we have to go up to the water tower over there to collect the Zender root, and we'll just head on back. Oh, did I say Xander root? I mean the Brock flower. It's Brock flower up here, not Xander root. Hello. Hola. I think I think vats give you like special um like moves. We don't have any chance to hit him. Hold on. I guess we don't have it. Maybe we, you have to have like a certain perk or something, but I'm pretty sure like, or maybe because this is a modded weapon, it doesn't have like a special animation, but I'm pretty sure melee weapons, uh, they'll have like an option here in VATS where you can do like a, a special like attack. Uh, I'm not sure how it works because I've almost never used it. Actually, I've never used it. I say almost, but I for sure have never used it. I've seen it used. What the heck's going on up here? What I hear shoots. What I hear shoot <laughs> shoots. What I hear shooting. Oh, they're killing the freaking blowflies. Hey, you guys are taking all the fun. I mean, thank you guys for dealing with them. Um, don't mind me, I'm just gonna here to collect some flowers. And uh, the clue we need for Oh my god, our hand. <laughs> um yeah, so first clue towards Benny. 
I'll just love picking that up <laughs> for the sake of the animation. But we got the stuff. Now we can head over to Sunny. Sadly, we didn't get to uh, train on the blowflies at all. These guys took all the fun. Oh, we forgot to talk to this lady. I think you have to talk to her for... Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. For her to actually head back to Good Springs. But here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Yeah, thank you. You know, I gotta stay hydrated. It's tough out here as a murder I athlete. Are we thirsty right now? Oh, I guess I guess we kind of are a little bit. Let's take another one. Well, we actually don't even need to drink this because there's the freaking Good Springs water source over here. We'll just go up to it and like get infinite water. Did I loot these? Oh, these were the three that attacked her. I forgot to, whatever. I forgot to loot the ones up there, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Yeah, you can just come up here and like drink as much water as you want. You can go to the valve as well. Hola, Sunny. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right, so what do I do? I just got to take the take the brock flower and take the zandaru and... Oh, you got to crush it? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then just mix it together and... That's it? Just this powder? Uh, okay. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Yeah, you're right, Sonny. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Definitely. I love meeting new people and introducing them to the sport of swatting. So, definitely gonna make a detour now to go see Trudy. Actually, you know what, Sonny? I'll race you. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Left her in the dust. And she's going for second and for third. Oh my gosh, she's stealing home. And the crowd goes wild. Uh, one thing I should mention about this mod, actually, the uh, baseball uniform mod, it's only four female characters. Uh, it says for the T4 body, but the way the armors work, you don't really need the body. Uh, the armor will just like automatically, you know, switch to it. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Mm. Oh, these guys have a competitive spirit. What do you want? Hold on, hold on. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you, brother man. Hold on, hold on now. Boy, what the hell? Oh, my God. No way. Jordan never wore those shoes. He never did that move. Uh, what's going on, man? What's been going on in the rest of the wasteland? You know, let's, let's try to start a conversation with him. Maybe we can get him introduced. Maybe we can sneak swatting into the conversation somehow and uh, get him interested. Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Uh, okay, okay, uh, t t t t tell me about the NCR. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave, but it's a big desert, so it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. That's actually not true at all. 
it, it, uh, I'm just trying to think, like, there's actually no way you can actually avoid the NCR in this game. Or, or Caesar's Legion, bro. They're just so... Well, actually, maybe. No, because you actually end up crossing Caesar's Legion if you end up going through Nipton. So regardless, you will encounter Caesar's Legion. And then NCR are literally all over the place, like just on the way to Novak. They have the freaking station right there. Uh, it seems like you're only interested in like a bunch of boring stuff and, and not swatting. So sorry, dude. I'm going to let you go. Yeah. But hey, man, if you want to. OK, he's gone. Howdy. Hey there. Are you Trudy? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Literally just for saying hi to Trudy, bro. Oh, well, actually, I think that completes the tutorial quest. You actually have to talk to Trudy to complete the tutorial quest. It's really weird. Because you need to do the tutorial quest to actually talk to Trudy, yeah. That's the end of the quest, anyways. Uh... I've been trying to track down the people who attacked me. Do you know anything about them? Any Not info? Much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Uh, sorry, I don't really care about your radio. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. I don't really care about repairing stuff, you know. The only thing I care about is bashing, I mean, swatting. The good old sport of swatting, man. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. We still haven't said where they were going. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Mm, I think that she just talks about like NCR and Legion right there. Uh, yeah, tell me, does Gisprings get many visitors, you know? I'd sure love to introduce them to swatting. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Mm, I see. Well, maybe I could trade, you know, like baseball equipment with them. Introduce them into the game of swatting and then have, have them help me spread it. Hmm? Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Okay. Well, I overheard that argument. Can you tell me what that was all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Uh, whoa, what is that? Tell about me more. a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. Hmm, mm, I, I know this strategy. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. This Ringo guy is pretty smart, you know. He might he might be a valuable teammate. Can you tell me where he is now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Maybe we can discuss strategy. Um, well, what are you going to do, huh? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. No, no, no. They, they shouldn't leave. We could, we could have a swatting match. Uh, you guys can be on my team. Well, okay. Let's talk about something else. Uh, Actually, be hello. let me go see if Ringo wants hello. to talk about swatting ew soda we don't indulge in anything like that we only drink that pure aqua need that hydration for our, th our athletics body that's close enough 
Who are you, and what do you want with me? Well, are you Ringo? I'm actually looking for him. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? No, but I know how to play Swatter. Do you want to play a game of SWAT real quick? Just so you know, I don't lose. Uh, anyways, do you know there's a man named... Oh, no, you don't? Okay, well, did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah, he doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Well, why are they out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Hmm, okay. So, so what, you have like a positive KD is what you're telling me? I could use that. You might be our ringer. Ringo the ringer. Huh? How does that sound? That'll be your nickname. Well, what are you gonna do about him? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. He, he's got a pretty impressive scorecard. Oh man, this is gonna be a fun playthrough, dude. I'm just gonna keep making a bunch of baseball references. Well, if you, if you need a teammate, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Well, I don't need payment. I just do it because I love the sport. I won't let you stick your neck out for free. I can't pay you back now, but I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays up. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Okay, yeah, I'll ask around to see if I can round up anybody for our team. We'll have a very fun game of swatting. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Well, keep your head down, then I'll see if I can recruit anybody for our game, I mean, team. Try to hurry. Let me take that. Definitely gonna need that. What is this? Oh, the wood. I remember what this is all about. Nah, I actually don't want that. Can I drop that? Oh, I don't know where it went. That's from like a different mod. Oh, well, I guess it's somewhere. I don't know. I doubt it's in like our notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely take this water though. We gotta keep ourselves hydrated. Oh, there's more over there? Hold on. Mm, delicious water. So considering we are athletes, we are allowed to use um, performance enhancing, uh, I mean, equipment. Medicine. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, Sonny. Me and uh, Ringo are actually going to be having a swatting match against the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Wow, really? You're the best. Uh, just so you know, this is a match of swatting. An official match. We might die horribly. Well, maybe not me. That's inspiring. You may want to keep your optimism to yourself if you try to recruit anyone else. Joe Cobb talked yeah, about us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, 
some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. All right. You know, I do have a way with words, so don't worry. Okay. Uh, there she is. There's Trudy. Trudy, you remember I was talking to you about swatting earlier? So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Of course. I always, uh... You can never go wrong with a match of swatting, huh? I I'm actually an excellent strategist, and near the saloon and store are good spots to stage an ambush. You know, if you could help me out. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Awesome. Trudy, you will not regret this. I, I can tell you're going to look great in a uniform. Be careful out there. Awesome. So we got 12 points to invest. I think we just go straight up melee, honestly. Let's get 50 melee and then we can do up to there and then just throw that in a sneak because those are gonna, these are going to be like our main stats. I definitely do want to get sneak as high as possible, as quick as possible uh, because we'll probably have to like rely on that a lot, especially in the early game. Later on, once maybe I get like a, a companion or something and like I have more health and I'm a little bit stronger, then we might not need to rely on sneaking that much. But right now, uh, yes, we need sneak. Although I am just putting like one point in it. Uh, we definitely need medicine as well, obviously, you know. And uh, we don't have to worry about surviving and if everything's dead, so melee weapon 50. And we can take... We are attracted to females, so... I don't know. I pretty much always take Church as the fame. And it is more damage, bro. I, I love damage. Like, who doesn't? Intense training, like, what, what would I invest in? Like, one more agility, give myself nine agility. Uh, I could put myself up to, like, ten strength or ten endurance, but I could also just go and buy that at the uh, medical clinic. So... Intense training is just is not that good of a perk. Uh, in nah, it's just not that good of a perk, honestly. Like maybe in, in like Fallout 4 because you don't get as many uh, special points at the start of the game. So yeah, but we'll take Churches. All right, next person. We we gotta talk to Chad see if he'll sponsor our team. Oh, there's Doc Mitchell. Well, we might as well catch him on, on the way, on his way to the uh, Prospector Saloon. And he's always down to help uh, to help anybody. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Well, uh, Doc Mitchell, we're gonna have a rousing game of swatting. And uh, if there's anything you can do, uh, some medicine for after the game. Maybe help patch people up. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. What? M Mitchell, it's, it's, it's a sport. Uh, he doesn't understand, you know, old heads. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Okay, yeah, definitely we'll do that. Listen, they're gonna, they're kind of the opposite team. They're kind of cheaters. They like to use explosives. So if you have anything for more serious injuries. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Thank you. you take care now. 
I will. I will, Chad Mitchell. Thank you so much. All right, now let's go see if uh, Chet will sponsor us. Hey there. All right, well, we aren't the most charismatic of individuals, but uh, hopefully we can actually convince this guy to help us out. Hey, hey, come back here. Chet! You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. Well, here I am, you know, never underestimate me. Never underestimate the athletic spirit of a swatter. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Well, before any of that, how would you like to sponsor Good Spring's first official swatting team? There it is. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Uh, okay, Chet, but think about it this way. It's, it, it's an investment, right? You know, and, and if you sponsor us and we win, it, it'll be because of you, you know, and you'll get a bunch of, uh, get a bunch of publicity, right? Publicity? Crap, we don't have enough barter. Okay, never mind. Actually, what happens if we tell him that? Hold on, hold on. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Chet, that's not... Uh, but that defeats the whole purpose of you being a sponsor. Take it easy now. Ugh, all right then. Just know after this game, it's not gonna be because of you. You're not gonna get any freaking Whatever, Chet. Big dummy. All right, I'm not really interested in getting explosives from Easy Pete, so I think we just go ahead and uh, hey there. I think we just go and talk to Ringo. All right, we're just gonna have to do with what we got, which I mean we should be fine because of like uh, all the mods I have installed. There's like plenty of NPCs in Good Springs. If it was just like the vanilla NPCs and we didn't do. We didn't manage to get Chet to hand us the leather armor. I think a couple of them would die, but because we have like so many NPCs, we just kind of have like the numbers advantage, or I should say we have the home field advantage. Okay, ringy dingy dingo. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Yeah, she's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Ringo, you're overthinking it, my man. Swatting. W once you get in there, once you get onto the field, and, and, you know, in the heat of the moment, you won't have to think about anything, all right? So let's just do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. That's the spirit. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Already? We haven't even set up yet. Okay, well, uh, let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Don't worry, I'll take lead. Are you guys ready for this epic battle? I mean, game. Where are they? Okay, here, here comes some of them. There's only two of them. Where the other guy? Where, where's Joe? Hello. All right, swing, swatter, 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 swing. Oh, this guy. Oh, no way, dude. He's got his own swatter. Oh, but I'm better. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, they almost hit me. 
I think they're glitched out. Uh, sometimes it works where they just all show up this way, but then sometimes they glitch out. And they end up, like, being in... Where are they? They're, like, back here for some reason. I don't know why they're back there. But... I was not expecting that at all. All right, then before the match... Okay, that's all we have. We only have some medics. All right, let's go. Let's do this. We'll let the uh, town deal with the ones that come down the road, and I think we'll try to, like, sneak up on these guys. Maybe that'll work. Is it this I think it's this building that they're behind. I don't know what the heck Joe Cobb has, but he, he did a lot of damage to me. There they are. Oh, no, no, no. I messed. I, mi I messed. I missed. Okay, okay, sick. We got two of them. Add that to my score. I think I see the other ones. Are they over there? No, I'm just seeing stuff. Where are the other guys? Oh, no. They started without me. They're gonna get all the kills. I mean, points. Oh man. All right, Powder Gangers. No need to be sore losers. All right, we had a we had a fair fight. I mean, game. We won. All right. Take your loss and go home. We had home field advantage and everything. Maybe maybe next time we'll have a game at a. The NCRF, NCRCF, I guess, yeah, that's what it's called, NCRCF. Hello. Oh, well, this guy has a baseball bat, right? Yeah, we're definitely taking that. I oh. owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Yeah, you know, just let them know about the sport of swatting, you know, the love, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll completely understand. And, uh, you know, we'll, maybe some of them will even want to try it out themselves, right? Get, get the name of swatting out there. Thanks, Ringo. Well, and you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. We'll do, Ringo. Alrighty then, guys. I think that's a perfect time to go ahead and uh, end this episode on our new character, Sandlot Sally, Swatter Extraordinaire. And uh, yeah, Lost Wolf signing out. Thanks again so much for watching, and good luck out there in the waste.